answer is C. The paper sometimes tears on the left side first and sometimes on the right side first. A sheet of paper consists of cellulose fibers that vary in length and orientation. If you pull on the narrow ends of the cutout rectangles, the ends of the incisions form the weakest point. When it tears there, it becomes even narrower and therefore weaker at this point. The spot continues to tear and eventually breaks off completely. Whether the rectangle tears first on the left or first on the right depends on the random orientation and length of the fibers at that point. It will tear first on the left and sometimes on the right. Nature chooses one of the two equally valid options in what is essentially a symmetrical system. This behavior, which occurs in many places in nature and triggers important phenomena, is also known as symmetry breaking. On average, both cases will occur with equal frequency. If you stabilize the middle, wide part of the rectangle by pressing it between your lips, you can actually tear both narrow ends at the same time and then tear it off completely. Try it out!